CCTV News gathers information from town meetings and events, departmental updates, and COVID-19 here in York County and Berwick. BCTV News will be shown daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Comcast channels 95 and 22, as well as streaming at www.berwicktv.org. It will also be available on demand and via our YouTube channel. This is a reminder to all who either have fireplaces or wood or pellet stoves. Now is the time to make sure that everything is operating properly. You might want to get your chimney cleaned and inspected by a professional. If you are installing or using a wood stove for the first time, do all these things plus talk to your local code enforcement and fire department to make sure your stove meets installation codes. As previously mentioned, the water department is continuing to work on fire hydrants. On Thursday, BCTV captured some of the work they were doing on the fire hydrant in front of the town hall. They replaced broken or worn parts and then reassembled. On Wednesday evening, BCTV joined Chief Plant along with several firefighters at the new station. Chief Plant purchased light bulbs that would turn red to honor Captain Joel Barnes and other firefighters who lost their lives. After several hours and many attempts with the apparatus and bulbs, they could not get it to light red. However, on Friday night, BCTV visited Pierce Island to capture footage of the Memorial Bridge lit red. On Sunday morning at 10 a.m., BCTV will air America's Tribute to Fallen Firefighters via the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. Next week is Fire Prevention Week. This is a good time to change the batteries in your smoke detectors and check the pressure in your fire extinguishers. Berwick Winters Farmers Market will begin again in November. Their first market will be on November 22nd, just before Thanksgiving, and it will be held at the Knowlton School on Route 9. The second market will also be held at the Knowlton School on December 13th. They begin at 10 a.m. and end at 1.30 p.m. Stay tuned for more information. On Thursday evening, the Planning Board reviewed a new subdivision off from Old Pine Hill Road North. The subdivision proposal is for 54 house lots that would go in from Halflinger Lane and connect to Norman Court. Residents may view the details on the Berwick Main website by visiting the Planning Department page and clicking on the agenda packet for October 1st. From the town report for the year ending March 1st, 1878. The total town budget for that year was $13,827.10. Some of the notable expenditures were $100 paid for a horse that was killed and $31.50 for a sheep. Another line lists $2 paid to tramps. A large part of the budget was labeled as care for the poor. That year, it was $1,117.67. Some people were housed at the town farm, now a private residence on Cranberry Meadow Road. They were often elderly, widowed women, but also children as young as three or four years old. Berwick also paid medical bills for those that could not afford it. In 1877, the town paid to move two separate families to New York, one to Quebec, and another was given passage to England. $3,000 of the town budget was for highways and bridges. A map from that time shows the names of roads that are familiar today. Cranberry Meadow Road, Blackberry Hill Road, and Long Swamp Road are shown. Many roads are not labeled, and the town report mentions roads that do not carry that name today. The Joshua Heard Road, George Tibbetts Road, and Marsh Road are just a few. It is the same way with bridges. 
Abbott Bridge, Noble Bridge, and Nine Notch Bridge are mentioned. At the time, I'm sure everyone knew what they were talking about. COVID-19 cases for York County as of October 3rd, there were 1,223 cases with 1,087 confirmed and 136 probable. There have been 99 hospitalizations with 1,041 recoveries and 16 deaths. Berwick rose to 26 confirmed and probable cases. Cases continue to rise and residents are urged to follow CDC guidelines and to continue to practice best safety measures. BCTV News is a recap of meetings, events, and town happenings. If you have a news item that you think we should cover, send your request to bctv at berwickmaine.org. BCTV is completely funded through franchise fees from Comcast. We are a nonprofit entity and we are bound by the rules established for public access stations by the FCC. Berwick residents who subscribe to Comcast may watch our public educational videos on Channel 22 and our government meetings, departmental, and informational videos on Channel 95. Both channels run 24-7 and are streamed at www.berwicktv.org.